Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back for another EverCrest video. Uh, we're gonna go over the event that's going on right now, the Secret Sweetheart. I'm gonna explain to you guys how it works. Um, if you don't know, this is primarily gonna be for the people that weren't around during the Christmas event, which uh, was the same exact design, right? So, basic way to explain this is this is an event that has an its own idol mechanic for like getting for just waiting and getting items just over time like there's many idol games that have that if you've ever played an idol game or idol gotcha game then you would know and then um you don't use any actual stamina for this event so even though stamina shows up here in the top you're never going to use your stamina for this event it's specifically going to be these cards here so i'm going to show you here we just go over the over it it, it consists of gathering level lev uh, gathering leveling battles which is kind of the way they compute word is just terrible and score battles by clearing gathering leveling battles you can raise your item gathering level which increases the number of items that you can obtain obtain to attempt score battles this, this seems kind of weird the way they do it through score battles you can obtain materials based on your damage score that can be traded for valuable rewards such as exclusive weapons so instead of going through this i'm going to kind of explain this so first and foremost you have the item gathering which is basically just an idle mechanic Barrett's just going on a, on a stroll in the woods, you know, that's what he does, probably put, probably what he puts on his dating profile, you know, like to take long walks in the forest. Um, so, so the way this works here is, is over time you're going to have this, and it's going to, you know, you see where it says next, and it says max. So max is where you're going to max out the amount, amount of items you have here, and next is when you're going to get an item added to this. So right now, because it's going to take about 24 hours, I'm going to get basically one item added per hour, give or take, right? So you can see here, when I hit that two hour mark, it's going to add two more. As this level increases, you'll get them faster, right? You'll start to get up one every 55 minutes, 50 minutes. Eventually, you'll get up to max level. So there's no reason not to gather this just at any time. Whether you gather it now or later, there's no advantage. You don't get better drops or anything like that. I previously had thought about that was the case in the first event uh, for the Christmas one. It was not the case for that. So go ahead and if you have this up, just start gathering it. You're going to need these cards here. They're called the the, uh, or the keys. Um, score battle key. They, they're just a key card, right? So you'll need those to do the battles and you'll get random rewards here. And then in order to do all that, to increase it, if you haven't done this already, you're going to go through and you're going to clear these fights, right? So you have all these different fights that you're going to want to go through in story and you want to clear them all. They're, they're very easy. I mean, this account I have is uh, just like one week old, so it's not even that bad. So you, you should be able to clear these pretty fast. And as you level uh, increase these, this is where you're going to see this. This thing here, uh, it won't let me click on it, but let me see if it'll let me do it here. There we go. So item gathering level up. The higher the item gathering level, the more items you can acquire within a certain period of time. So you just get more items at the, in the same period of time. Like I said, you gather them faster. So you'll get those, you'll get crystals. So obviously you want to go through these. And then you also have the score battle here. So the score battle is, is what you're going to actually use your card. So instead of using stamina here, you're going to use the cards. So usually what I recommend doing for everybody is try to avoid doing score battles as long as possible because as the event goes on since it's almost a three week long event they're going to add more score battles and the higher score battles you get or the more difficult uh the more difficult they are and the more keys you use in those fights because they're going to cost more you're going to actually get better rewards though as well and they're going to add rewards later i'm sure that'll give us things so if you check out the mission here you can see there's things like, you know, reach item gathering level 10. Some of these in here, you know, says score battle, reach rank D or higher. Some of these you can probably just do on the on like day one. Like it's even if day one player could practically do it. It's super easy. You know, then you have all these event missions and then you have the dailies. So the dailies is one thing you don't want to miss out on. There's no guarantee on how you're going to obtain the heart cookies. Because these heart cookies here, I don't remember what they were in the previous one. They might have been the gift boxes. But um, you, can, you can get them either from gathering here potentially... So sometimes you can get them there, but the most consistent way is to go into score battles. I'm going to show you here how the score battles work, So, because I, I need to do it anyway. I need to get my daily done. So I'm going to use my 20 of my key cards here to take the score battle. So for this score battle, I'm going to go over the, the enemy here, which is Sweet House. Uh, Sweet House, uh, you can see it's immune to pretty much most of the things bosses are, aren't immune to, uh, are immune to. But it's unlike the previous one, which was the, uh, what was his name? Oh no, maybe he wasn't. It's been it's been a minute, so I don't remember. It was it was the cactuar, right? It was that that cookie cactuar. 
uh, the uh, I called him Christ War because it was Christmas. But anyway, uh, this guy you're gonna want to use pure physical. It says grant self physical defense down and magic defense down when force gauge chocolate bar is reduced to zero. The gauge can only be depleted with physical attacks. So you can lower his magic defense and physical defense. Um, if you have someone like Aerith with Umbrella or other characters, depending on your setup, especially because if you have like a Wind Aerith, you probably still want to kick, you use it just because of the weakness. But, you know, Sephiroth um, with Dark Heavens is going to be good here. And obviously it's, it's, it's clear as day. This event was made for the Yuffie, uh, Yuffie banner that's going on right now that heavily boosts wind attack and it's and it's a physical uh, banner. So, so if you have that, you definitely want to use that here. Focus on wind attack. Um, and when you first go into the fight, you're gonna get you're gonna get these little fortune cards as they call them, and they're gonna do different things, right? So like this one has weapon C ability potency plus fifty percent, ally physical attack plus fifty percent, and then some engage boost plus fifty percent. So these are all pretty decent. Um, if you're gonna go all physical, you definitely want to go with the physical attack. However, what I recommend doing every single time is look for the one that's going to give you bonus points. And a lot of times it might be 75% or 100% bonus points. So I'm going to refresh here, see if I can get one with the bonus points. I didn't get one apparently, unfortunately. So none of these are really what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, so it really doesn't matter. So we're just going to go ahead and do these. Right now it's really easy. Um, but the reason why you want bonus points is because the higher your score, the more items you get uh, up to a certain point that you'll get from the fight. So it's a pretty straightforward fight. You're just gonna fight the, this cookie hell house. You know, it's like a gingerbread hell house. Or Hansel and Gretel or something. If you notice, my team is pure physical. So that's what I have them set up for here. And then they're just gonna go in. Zach's gonna lower defenses because that'll help out for the whole squad. And as you see that little chocolate bar on the very top, that Hershey's chocolate bar, um, That as soon as that bar drops all the way down, you're gonna see He's going to go into this sweet stream mode here. And then afterwards, though, his defenses are going to drop. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so now all his stats are down. So now when I hit him, it's going to do a heck of a lot more damage. Because you're basically doing an extra uh, double or, or... Yeah, I think it's either double or times three. But either way, way more. And so he's just going to stay down like that for quite some time. So for now, you can just auto these. Uh, if you're if even if you're new to the game, these aren't too bad. So you just want to get that chocolate bar down as fast as possible. And I'm sure when new fights come up, um, it's gonna it's gonna be uh, even take even longer. And so that's why you're really gonna want to focus on having uh, physical damage, specifically physical wind damage. So if you don't have any physical wind moves, get something like um, you know use use arrow blows is pretty much what you're gonna be using, and then put them in a slot where you get a 20% boost off of it as well. So that's going to be the biggest thing, is focus on physical attacking. And then Zach's a good good uh, character for this. Cloud's a good character, obviously. Anybody that can lower physical defense is going to be really useful here. Magic. Magic's good, but it's it's not going to be good until a little bit after, because magic's not going to lower that bar. And the faster you get that bar down, the more total damage you're going to do. So you're going to get, you're going to get a score here. The score is going to go up higher as the enemy gets harder. You're going to get more points over uh, throughout the fight. And you see here, these are the two drops. So you get heart cookies, and then you're going to get white, white box chocolates. The amount you're going to get here is going to go up depending on one, your rank, your battle results, and then two, the difficulty of the fight. So you're going to want to make sure you do those enough times at least each day to get the sweethearts necessary in order to complete the mission, right? So if we come to the daily, I've, I've got enough for this, but I don't have enough yet for these, these heart cookies. Now... These heart cookies may not even be worth trying to do, right? Because I, I, if I get 200, it's like I get 50. But if it would me waiting for the next fight instead of using the cards I have now and putting those cards to the next fight, would that gain me 50? I don't know. So I'll probably just do it anyway because it's really so minor. It's it's not, you know, if I'm trying to min max, sure. But it's not a big deal. Um, but that's more or less how it works. And then you're going to take those things. You're going to come in here and you're going to be able to buy things. You know, so you got gotcha tickets. You got synth catalyst, oven mitts, all kinds of all kinds of stuff here. Um, I, I would recommend don't get the oven mitts until the final day. The reason why is because there is a chance that the oven mitts can drop 
you can get them from the item gathering. So you don't want to get all spend all your resources on the oven mitts and then to have all these extra oven mitts laying around that you're not going to use. Um, but that more or less covers the secret sweetheart event. Um, you know, if you have any questions about it, leave it down in the comments if I didn't cover something for you. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Keep rocking, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels. And I will see you guys on the next video.